seizure resembling a blank stare, absence petite mal. Seizure consisting of quick, repetitive jerks, myoclonic. Alternating stiffening and movement seizure, tonic clonic grand mal. Epidural hematoma is associated with rupture of this vessel, middle meningeal artery. A subdural hematoma is associated with the rupture of this vessel, venous bleeding. Subarachnoid hemorrhage is associated with the rupture of this vessel, rupture of berry aneurysm, circle of Willis. Most common adult brain tumor, glioblastoma multiform. Easily resectable brain tumors arising from arachnoid cells. Meningioma. Slow-growing tumor of the frontal lobes associated with fried egg cells. Oligodendroglioma. Benign childhood tumor that can cause bitemporal hemianopsia. Craniopharyngioma, pituitary adenoma can as well but not common in children. Highly malignant cerebellar tumor. Medulloblastoma. Tumor associated with enlarged fourth ventricles and capable of causing hydrocephalus. Ependymoma. The patient presents with scanning speech, intention tremor, and nystagmus. Multiple sclerosis. Occlusion of this artery results in the sparing of dorsal columns. Ventral artery. Degeneration of dorsal roots and dorsal columns leading to impaired proprioception and locomotor ataxia in this disease. Tabes dorsalis, tertiary syphilis, argyle Robertson pupils. Ipsilateral facial paralysis with an inability to close eye on the involved side. Bell's palsy. In a CN12 lesion, the tongue will deviate toward or away from the side of the lesion. Toward the side of the lesion. In a CNV MO lesion, the jaw will deviate toward or away from the side of the lesion. Toward the side of the lesion. In a CNX lesion, uvula will deviate toward or away from the side of the lesion. Away from the side of the lesion. In a CN11 lesion, what physical exam findings can one expect? Weakness turning head toward the contralateral side, SCM, and shoulder droop trapezius.